Recently, I, after eight years of, of being with Primo, so I'm still very good friends with everybody there, left on very, very good terms. Four years ago, I started a project that was called Drake's Adventures, and my kids are six and nine, so at that time they've been two and five. And as my kids hunted with me, and I read to them, I started realizing the transformation of where kids' interests are. Um, so Drake's Adventures is the, the new project that I've done. Um, the Whitetail book's coming out, there's waterfowl books, there's elk hunts. It's all going to be um, done up where we truly get children interested at a very early age. Because I can tell you at six and nine, my kids now, uh, it's like Minecraft and whatever else and whatever where we had dirt clods when I grew up. I can't speak for Paul, but I had, that's what I had, I had dirt clods. And so the, the Drake's Adventure really bridges that gap between birth and six, seven, eight years old. I mean, Gary had some very nice things. I know I was able to get you guys some, but it's my new project. I'm going after it full blast. Um, it was tough to resign uh, from a company that I loved working with, especially Lower. Um, but it was one of those things that it became very much a fundamentally sound mission that I want to grow the sport. Um, just like these guys here that try to get youth involved, um, I want to do it. You know, you've got NASP, you've got the Jakes program, you've got Green Wings, you've got you know, Youth Shooting Sports Foundation. You've got absolutely great programs once the kids are old enough to participate. But there's nothing that's sparking their interest before them. And that's why I came up with this, is I wanted... I wanted when the kids to go through this to actually hear real sounds of, of real instances. The Whitetail book that will be coming out in the middle of May is actually based on a true story with my son. So is this one. You know, when I get into the waterfowl book, his little sister will start joining him, and I've nicknamed her Cricket. Um, but it, it's it's a fun project. It's a project that I want to see these kids and hear their kids have a chance to hunt, and we have to just kind of pay attention to where we've set the bar and what we are doing as far as growing the sport. So if you ever go up there and somebody's pushing buttons, that's me playing around. I, I really can't read, so I'm just a big kid that likes to hit buttons. And, uh, you know, I sit on Paul's lap and he reads to me. <laughs> he is so not right. He's off from that backflip. <laughs>